At 5 o'clock, we introduced you to members of the San Diego Black Arts and Cultural District. The group is working to revitalize nine blocks on Imperial Avenue with deep ties to black culture in the community. And tonight, my co-anchor, Wale Aliou, introduces us to a mother-daughter duo leading the latest pilgrimage with a new workspace facility dedicated to help the community. What did you want to see before you ever even said, hey, I want to, I want to own something in this district? Well, the reason why I chose this building is because of the location. I remember coming here as a child and we had this whole area shut down and we used to have the Encanto Street Fair. We used to um, have parties, we used to have music, we'd be at the park, we had events. And with the San Diego Black Arts and Culture District, we're trying to bring that back. And because of the location of this building in the middle of the nine blocks, in the Promise Zone, in the 4th District, I knew I wanted to be here. We believe that if we invite people from all over the place with different backgrounds to embrace black arts and culture, then we can defy assumptions about who we are, right? So this space here is going to be, is the community facility. Uh, well, we like to call ourselves your living room away from home. So we want people to come here create, collaborate, and just excel, you know, and collaborate with each other. Um, so we'll have the, a creative space here for folks to gather and meet with people, and all these walls are gonna get knocked down. How much of a setback was the January 22nd flood for you guys? <sighs> Financially, a huge setback. We should be in the space now. We should be enjoying the space. The community should be coming out. The community should be enjoying the space, but because of the flood, and the setback and all the contractors being so busy, it took us this long to get it started. We would have had a huge Juneteenth festival right here, <laughs> but we'll have one next year. How frustrating is that? Because I still have that positive vision and I know what it's going to be and I have faith in my children and I know what they're gonna bring to the table, not too frustrating because it's gonna happen. It's just a, a small delay. Did insurance help out? No, well? and they're extremely expensive, and they did nothing. They discouraged me from filing a claim. So it's all been on me to repair. And if anyone knows, if you have a disaster like this, you're not prepared for it. So it's savings, it's getting loans, and you know, a few small grants. Once restored from the floods, the space will be open from 9 to 4 for free to the public and then in the evenings for private donors.